front project, gravity assisted update. Uh, got the pony brake uh, set up. Uh, you can see how slow the uh, the rotation is. Um, so uh, basically, we were uh, advised about a online calculator that was uh, had more variables and easier to use. And uh, basically, it shows that if I increase the uh, the radius of the uh, rotating uh, lever arm, you know, all of the parameters staying the same, you'll get an increase in uh, force. Um, so we'll definitely try that. Uh, I was also thinking that, uh, you know, because uh, this gear is so small, we're losing uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, it's consuming a lot of uh, energy or force at that location. Uh, but if we increase the diameter there, you know, we get a decrease in uh, RPM. Uh, so at this time, this is kind of difficult to do, but I'll try it. Uh, slowly increasing the tension on the prony brake. Uh, you know, you get an increase. Uh, whoop, I think it shifted. Oh, there it is. I haven't secured this yet, but uh, yeah, you get a reading at the output uh, about a pound. And if you can calculate whatever RPM that is, uh, you know, that'll show uh, the approximate uh, uh, horsepower. Uh, but you can tell how the uh, putting a load on it severely limits the travel. And uh, it increases the RPM at the orbiting weight. So to get uh, two and a half pounds at uh, 300 RPM, we're going to have to do uh, some real modification at this location. I don't have this secured yet, but uh, just to give you some idea of what uh, you know, what, what the output's dealing with. Uh, the objective is, is to keep the uh, electricity at the input uh, as low as possible, and then uh, you know, use the uh, centrifugal force and the mechanical advantage to generate uh, you know, uh, 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 output. A higher output, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, well, no, it'll generate a. Uh, what, what we're trying to do is uh, generate uh, like an out, a fixed output, like 300 watts at the output, and then from that, you know, higher output will generate the electricity, which will be less. So, that's what we're attempting to do. Um, ace in the hole is uh, the three-inch neodymium magnets. Uh, with a thousand pound pull force. So if we're not able to uh, achieve our objective by uh, increasing the uh, you know, the radius of the rotating lever arm, then uh, you know, we'll uh, fabricate the uh, three by three uh, neodymium magnet solenoid and uh, see what kind of results we get with that. Uh, the output from the uh, scooter motor will change as soon as we hook it up to a deep cell battery. Uh, the power supply is uh, limited to a uh, certain wattage output, so um, you know that's why the voltage dropped to seven volts and uh, instead of eighteen, instead of staying at eighteen volts. So uh, you know, then uh, you know we'll, we'll get different results when we go to a uh, a deep cell battery uh, power supply. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and suggestions welcome, as well as corrections are welcome. Uh, enjoy the day. Cheers.